uh, Anna, thank you. Uh, since I don't know nothing about runes, I did uh, Google a little bit, you know, in my life before, and I know that, you know, some people call it, call it even um, runic astrology. I don't know if that's a thing or not. Yeah. So please yeah. introduce us. Tell us what are runes, how you use them. Please. It's so exciting. Um, <clears throat> so the runes um, were an alphabet that was developed as early as 200 B.C., by mm -hmm. the um, Germanic tribes um, of ancient Europe. Mm -hmm. And then they were adopted by the Vikings who, who used them for magic purposes and for divination. Yeah. Wow, but so how they do it? So what would you do? So people, so how do you do it? Like, for example, somebody gives you the birth data. So how do you do it? What does that mean? No, it doesn't work that way. Um, no? Okay. Not for divination, but there is like a runic um, calendar as well, which is spread into, well, there's 24 runes. So there's twice as many mm -hmm. runes as there are calendar months. So every okay. two weeks um, in a year, you get a different rune, depending on when you were born. So that way you can find out which rune, which is your rune. That makes sense, yeah. yeah. Okay, so what is, for example, your room? How does it manifest in your life? What does it mean? How do you use that information in your life? How does it help um, you? Well, it's just like different energy. Like I would have to go through a few runes to make you understand. Otherwise, you know. Okay, let's go. You need, you I, need I'm going to follow yeah. Okay, so do you want me to list the, um, the months, yeah? Sure. So, Sure. Teach us okay, everything. I, so, I, I, um, I know that people are very interested in this topic. So. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, okay, so, so the runic uh, calendar year starts with June, mm -hmm. the 29th of June. So it starts in the summer, just after the summer solstice. And it's kind of like the peak <laughs> of the year. Mm -hmm. And so the first two weeks um, is symbolized. Actually, I've got rune cards here as well. I might show you a visual. Um, so the first one is Fehu. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so it looks mm -hmm. like that. Okay. Yeah, it looks like that. Okay. And Fehu is um, abundance, luck, hope, prosperity wealth and fortune and mm -hmm. literally it means cattle so oh, it's all about managing it's all about your resources and how to manage them basically okay because cattle uh -huh. in the olden days may, meant your wealth like it symbolized your wealth like the more cattle you had the more you know the wealthier you were it makes sense yeah yeah, yeah there were no yeah. money <laughs> sure and it's like um yeah so it symbolizes personal prosperity and commitment that's required to sustain it. And that's, that's until wow. July the 14th. Yeah. And, and if you were born between those dates, then this is your rune. So this is the energy that you have in your mm. life. Mm. Yeah. So okay. the second one, which is, <laughs> so the, sec the second one is July 14th to July 29th. And it's the rune called Urus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So Uruz um, is ferocity or an irresistible force. Um, it it's strength, endurance, health, courage, vigor, vitality, force, and perseverance. And it also means hard work. So, um, but also it's about your shadow. So. Mm -hmm. In a way, you could, it's kind of like a Pluto card as well. Okay. Because it's, um, it's a strength card, but it's a shadow card as well. And, um, well, 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 there is strength in Pluto as well, yeah. right? The transformation uh, and how mm -hmm. ability. Yeah, I, I see that connection. I, that, that makes sense. If coming from the shadows, from the darkness to the light again, transformed <laughs> as a new person. Exactly, yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. And... Um, so it symbolizes an animal as well, it, but it's the, um, 
the one with the big horns, which is now extinct. I can't remember which one it is. Like, um, like a bison? Similar to a buffalo. No. Sim similar buffalo, to a buffalo. buffalo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's about, um, it's about having strength to confront your shadow as well. Mm -hmm. and, and, yeah, it's kind of like the peak of the year. It's the most, um, it's the peak of summer. So it's like the peak of energy. And that's why it's like a strength, a maximum strength in a way. Yeah, even 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 if if we look at Leo, it's also about strength and courage. Oh yeah, because well. it is that that is the Leo. Is it already Leo? Yeah, it's kind of the end of Cancer, beginning of Leo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. True, true. Yeah. Kind of, kind of. Mm -hmm. But some I, of them I, do. I, I would say that... mm -hmm. Go ahead. Some of go ahead. Some of them do have an uh, connection with the um, with the uh, conventional astrology, but we'll get to that. Nice. Some of the, some of them more okay, than okay. others. Yeah, yeah. I love um, this. <laughs> cool, yeah. So the next one is July 29th to August 13th, and this is a rune called Thurisaz. Um, mm -hmm. It's like, it's a Thor, if you see the picture. So it's like, um, mm -hmm. it's a hammer of Thor. It's also like a prickly kind of, you know, like the thing you get on a tree. Like, yeah, thorn, basically. Um, yes. And it's connected to <laughs> the god Thor as well. And it symbolizes defense, challenge, danger, protection, attack, and strength. And um, it's about boundaries, having boundaries in your life and finding your personal divinity. So um, also um, recognizes, recognizing that there are forces in your life which can radically alter your personal plan. So... Wow. Obstacles. So outside obstacles forces. In a way, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Outside like obstacles. Mm -hmm. That you cannot uh, kind of control. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, okay. And it's something which, which you need to push through to overcome those obstacles. Mm -hmm. So this kind of coincides with Leo as well, because if you look at some of the tarot cards that um, symbolize the Leo, it's a lot of um, staves cards, which. Um, show like being able to defend yourself like the five of okay. staves um, mm -hmm. um no the five of staves is like battle and then the seven of staves as well and some of the other ones we're gonna so, have yeah. to do another live for tarot as well for sure <laughs> <laughs> yeah so yeah that is kind of um that does correlate as well and the next one is, the next rune is from the 13th of August until the 29th of August. And it's the rune of Ansus, mm -hmm. which means um, divine communication and divine inspiration. And speaking of personal truth. So it's, it's, more, of a, um, it's more of an air energy because it's to do with communication. It's kind of like... Okay. Um, it's the end of summer, so it kind of um, shows mm, that a more ethereal energy is coming in rather than a more physical energy. And it also represents the power to manifest with your word. Nice. Yeah. Those are powerful yeah. speakers. Wow, okay. Yeah, yeah, People definitely. Mm -hmm. Nice. So if, if you were born during I that time, it would kind of symbolize that you have... Um, you're like a good communicator, you know, you have intellectual abilities and stuff like that. Yeah. Kind of similar. Nice. To, I don't know, maybe Gemini, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the next one is 29th of August until the 13th of September. And it's um, a rune called Raido, which means time, journey, honor, and travel. Also progress, movement, evolution, and um, it's about telling your own story. It's about, you know, learning the wisdom, uh, kind of learning the wisdom of the previous runes and um, realizing the uniqueness of your journey. I, w I was just going to say, so back in the days, the, day, the days of Vikings and everything, that there would be some kind of priests that go to journey and, you know, like, um, or... The, the prophecies, you know, the people who, 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 who would go and 
tell kind of a, not a religion, but some kind of belief system to others, maybe through their wisdom would be like a be. Yeah, you know, the I mean, tribe, there's a whole there's a whole belief system around the runes. I just didn't have time to get into that. I know, but, I know, it's a lot. Yeah. Of, it's a it's a huge topic. But I just want to have an introduction so people understand because there are many people ask me about many things. So I thought this would be very interesting. Yeah, <clears throat> because this is like related to astrology. Yeah, and um. Yeah, so Raido is about the journey, and people who are born during this period, I think it's more, um, it's more the Virgo season or the beginning of Virgo season. So these people would tend to move around a lot in the beginning of life, um, mm -hmm. like not stay in one place, move from their hometown, and just move around. Even I knew someone who was moving like every three, day, three days at one point in their life, you know, just like a lot of movement, a lot of travel. Mm -hmm. Something yeah. Interesting. Explorers, <laughs> explorers. Explorers. Yeah, like a, Yeah, yeah, definitely. Mm. Like sedge people. Like sounds yeah, like sedge. sedge, sedge and, um, <laughs> well, funny enough, um uh what is it? Virgo is ruled by Mercury. So and that's Mercury is traveling. Yeah. Everywhere, always. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <clears throat> okay, and the next one is September 13th till September 28th, and this is the rune of Kaunas, mm -hmm. which is um, literally means uh, light, but it's also passion, insight, inspiration, and enlightenment, knowledge, and um, illumination, because lit literally it means torch. It's kind of like mm -hmm. the light in the dark, and um, it's uh, uh, it represents a moment of clarity after... Um, after the um, knowledge gained in the summer is kind of commonized or come to an end. So it also kind of, um, there's something, like some kind of Libra energy about it because it, it's kind of mm -hmm. about integrating the light and the dark. Um, because I think Libra season begins in, when is it, 21st of September? 23rd, I think. 23rd, okay, <coughs> yeah. So yeah, it's um, it's when the the night and the day becomes like an equal um, equal um, amount of hours. So it's about um, kind of learning from the light and the dark, balancing those aspects, and also the conscious. And uh, the sorry, Anna, uh, we have a question. Sorry, we have a question. Yeah. Uh, which dates could you repeat for Kaunas? Uh, Kaunas is September thirteenth till September twenty eighth. There you go. That's the one. The last one. The light. Mm -hmm. The torch. I'm mm -hmm. learning fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. It's 20, 24 runes. Yeah. yeah, but I'm thinking about people I know born there and I'm you know, thinking, do they have some kind of resemblance? So if anybody recognizes themselves in this, please uh, tell us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tell us um, if it resonates, definitely. Um, okay, so the next one is September 18th till October 13th and it's the rune called Gibble. Mm. So this is also kind of um, uh, correlates with Libra energy because it represents like two friends or two people joining together and Gibble means gift so it's about giving and growing um, and mm. it's uh, about exchange of elements and of and closure and also partnerships gifts and a balanced exchange so yeah it's basically so libra, libra. It's so libra. libra. Yeah, yeah yeah it is yeah. so libra <laughs> <laughs> definitely yeah nice um i'm at the end so i'm going to wait because i'm beginning of june so you started with end of june so i have to wait all the way oh <laughs> yeah the last... until the end sure sure we'll do that yeah and um okay so the next one is 13th of october until the 20th 8th of October, and this is the rune called Wunjo, mm -hmm. and it mm -hmm. means um, it means joy, basically. It means allowing joy into your life after a period of hard work and happy endings. Mm -hmm. well. Yeah. And then the next one is October 18th until November 13th, and this represents the... Um, some hain or like the Halloween period, and it's the oh, room yes. called Hagalas, mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. which uh, literally means uh, hail or storm. And it's about it, facing your fears. It is, it is a Scorpio season. So, yeah, storm does it. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> Shit storm, yeah. And, um, yeah, so it's about facing your fear and finding your faith in times of darkness. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, exactly. Absolutely. Again, Scorpio themes. I, I, I knew there was a connection. I just knew it. I don't know. Yeah, it's yeah, good. yeah. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. I love this. And the next is uh, November 13th till November 28th, and that is the rune of Nautis, which means, mm -hmm. means need, um, mm. embracing need. So I guess it's because it's kind of like, again, the, when nature is kind of dying, so, um, you know, you don't have the same harvest as you did in the summer. So mm -hmm. it represents need, restriction, disagreements, resistance, survival, necessity, and lacking. So also kind of some Scorpio themes there. And, yeah. Um, yeah, so it represents presents a bound position and the tension that comes with it. So it's about kind of accepting the uncomfortable, like the darkness and just, you know, mm -hmm. being able to push through it. Yeah, but th those people, I, I, I understand, they were probably very resilient, right? Because exactly, they were yeah. born in such a hard yeah. times, like a winter and cold, and you, you have to push it. And yeah, they're very resilient. So I, I appreciate that. I can respect that. <laughs> yeah, it's like Scorpio refuses to, you know, refuses to die, refuses to be defeated. People with yeah. strong Scorpio. Yeah. yeah, and then the next one is November 28th until December 13th, and it's the rune called Isa, mm -hmm. which literally means ice. Mm -hmm. And it means an excavating hidden force. So the need to, the need to wait, uh, the need to pause, to wait, um, uh, because it involves a suspension, delay, stillness, also can be frustration and blocks. And it's just about um, kind of the lesson of this rune is to realize that sometimes in life you, you can't always push through, you just need to wait, you need to wait things out, you know. So those are patient people, probably. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I think it's the end. No, this is already Sagittarius, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's not all correlated, like. 100%. No, it's not all. But I'm saying winter times are hard. Like I. Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. Well, ice again. Exactly. It's like the beginning. Uh, when you get the first snow, you get the first mm -hmm. ice. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're very much. Yeah, the runes are very much based on nature as well. So yeah. Uh, um, so the next one is uh, December 13th until December 28th, and it's the rune called uh, Jera, mm -hmm. um, which is celebration, endings, and beginnings. So it's kind of, um, it correlates with Christmas or with Yule, like the pagan festival. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the death of the sun. Yeah. Yeah, the solstice. So many people, you know, the twenty-first of December celebration of the new of the equinox and, and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah makes sense. And you have this uh, winter festivities. Uh, hmm? Winter festivities to make our lives easier during the hard, <laughs> cold yeah, days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, yeah. And um, so it's also about planning for the next year. Uh, oh yeah. Similar as we do, like a new a New Year's re resolution. So uh, similar to that, that's what this room. Uh, represents. Yeah, so these people would be this would be very good organizers or planners or stuff yeah. like that. Okay. Yes, yes, definitely. Um, and next one is the twenty eighth of December until the thirteenth of January, and this is the rune of Awas. Mm. which is uh, symbolizes progress and adaptability also uh, connection inspiration endurance sacred knowledge uh, and protection mm -hmm. so mm. it's about, about mm, navigating your personal path um, mm -hmm. it's, it's how we must uh, what we must do to sustain ourselves and about intellect as well 
So I think that kind of interrelates uh, with Aquarius season, with Aquarius mm-hmm. season, in a way. Yeah. Because you did say connection with higher power or something. What did you mention? Mm-hmm. Something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, I would say Aquarius is connected with the, you know. <laughs> yeah, it, it's connected the to the intellect, definitely, yeah. Yes. Okay. And the next uh, next rune is January 13th until January 28th. And it's called Perto. Mm-hmm. Um, this one is kind of a weird rune. It means um, fated events, mysteries, the occult, also fe- feminine uh, fertility, uh, and um, mysticism and the unknown. So if this comes up, up in a divination reading that means anything can happen like it's so wow. like an un- unexpected uh events or it could just okay. mean like something something will come to fruition because mm-hmm. like it just For depends on the fertility. context yeah yeah mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um and, and the next one is january 28th until february 12th which which is the room of Algiz, and it uh, correlates with the festival of Imbolc, which is the beginning of spring. And this is the rune. Mm-hmm. So this one is, um, it has the, it it's kind of means elk. So if you see those two um, sticks, that kind of, that's the, um, the horns of a deer. Um, uh-huh. And it symbolizes protection. Uh, protection courage awakening defense and your instincts so for example if you want to use it in a ritual you can you can you know like put it uh, draw it somewhere or you can draw it on your body and you will have um, protection in that way um, mm, like a tattoo like okay. a what <laughs> a tattoo <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, I can, yeah. I can, you can have can it as a tattoo, tattoo too mm-hmm. cool yeah. So yeah, and it symbolizes awakening as well. So someone who was born during that time is also likely to be quite spiritual, I'll say. Yeah. But and then it's also still Pisces. Aquarius. It, no, it's still Aquarius. Oh, it's still Aquarius. Yeah, yeah but Aquarius is yeah. Aquarius is just yeah. Yeah. Still Aquarius. Okay. So and the next one is February twelfth and then until February twenty seventh. Mm-hmm. Um that's already that's kind of in between. And the rune is Sawilo. Mm-hmm. Which means, um, which means success, vitality, inspiration, justice, joy, and happiness, and abundance. Um, so, so Willow is uh, represents the sun, actually. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, it does. So it's like a, it's kind of like a sun card. Um, oh, okay. In the tarot, it's very similar to that. Tarot. Yeah, so it just represents um, anything with uh, success with your career, health, which is, yeah, vitality, and um, uh, joy, happiness. Also, it can be light, just like light. Um, mm-hmm. Once I picked this rune, and then in a few <coughs> hours, it was literally, I saw thunder, like lightning, thunder and lightning, yeah, stuff like that. Amazing. Yeah. That's yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you will tell me after you finish that. You want to tell me more how you do the, you know, the when somebody. Anyway, go finish. I I don't want to interrupt you. I want to hear everybody. It's so interesting. Mm-hmm. I'm just absorbing so much information. I love this, and I'm making all the all the connections with other stuff that I know. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> My Gemini brain never stops. So <laughs> I love this. Sure. Do you want me to continue? Continue? Yes, please. Oh, please. Oh. Okay. So the next one is. Um, the 27th February until the 14th of March. And it's the rune called Tewaz. Mm-hmm. This is mine, actually. <laughs> okay, I was going to say, this um, is my dad. I'm listening. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it means um, leadership, rationality, victory, honor, bravery, courage, strength, and per- perseverance. And it also represents um, binding contracts and commitments. Uh, Mm -hmm. um, So it's kind of in Pisces season, but at the same time, it represents the warrior. It's kind of like, you know, if you see the picture, it's like an arrow. 
Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like masculine energy as well. Someone who, um, yeah, has courage to fight and to stand up for themselves. And it's also about holding space. Um, nice. But it's to hold space, yeah. So, yeah, that's that. Cool. And then the next one is March 15th, March 14th um, until March 13th. And this is the rune of Birkana. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this relates to the birch tree. And it's, kind of, it's, a, uh, it's a rune of feminine energy. And it represents um, growth and fertility. Because um, in the pagan times, birches were to do with, with fertility. And I love the tree. Yeah. This is so interesting. It's I don't know. Amazing tree, yeah. <laughs> it's one of my favorite trees. And I'm thinking why. Like, it makes sense, yeah. Oh, very nice. Yeah, because yeah, they're, 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 different. Different. they're white and they're just like they have this light energy around them. And I like the leaves when the when the, when the wind goes, they're like sparkling in the in the sun. It's just beautiful. I don't know. <laughs> Definitely, yes. Yeah, one, yeah. one of my favorite trees. Like I have one in the garden. It's just amazing. Yeah. yeah. So it, it symbolizes um, renewal, new beginnings, birth, creation, and new projects. And as this is actually in the period when um, we get the astrological new year. So it's like mm-hmm. between March 14th and 15th. It's around the, uh, March 21st. So that's when Aries season comes in. And that's when you get mm-hmm. the renewal. So yeah. It does new beginnings. To that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And okay, so the next one is March 30th until April 14th. And this is the rune of. A was, mm-hmm. and, and this kind of the picture symbolizes two horses together, and this can also mean journey in some cases, uh, progress, movement, but it's also about harmony, trust, and loyalty, and and about animal instincts because I think it's to do with horses. Oh, nice. Yeah. Hmm. So. Even though it's think it's still Aries season, but it's about cooperation. Funny enough, it's more like Libra in some way. <laughs> yeah, you know, but, but yeah, in every you know the opposite axes they always have something from the other for the other point of view. We yeah, all have opposite. something from the opposite. Yeah. Axis. Mm-hmm. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hear. I can... Because uh, every sign needs to be balanced with the opposite energy, so. Makes yeah. sense from that way. It's like a yin yang, a little, little dot, you know. You are maybe Aries, but there's a little dot of Libra in you. Yeah, it's, <laughs> I always think yeah, about yeah. yin and <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. It's like they say, uh, like the opposite Libra is just a polite Aries. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love that. So, <laughs> yeah. Funny. And um, yeah, the next one is April 14th until April 29th. And mm-hmm. it's the rune of Manas. Mm-hmm. So this one means, uh, this rune represents humanity and it's about finding your own tribe and it's about cooperation between people. It's about um, mortality, community, relationships, morals and values. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so it's like, it's about... about how we cooperate with each other and i think this, this is already taurus is it taurus it's the beginning it's it's on the cusp yeah, yeah but it, taurus taurus is ruled by venus which is about relationships so i, yeah. I always feel you know yeah we don't give taurus enough world. enough yeah enough yeah we, you know we, we always talk about libra relationship but taurus also has that you know they also long for a relationship you know they're ruled harmony, by venus. yeah taurus also like, kind of likes harmony yeah, yeah. Okay, so the next one is April 29th until May 14th, and it's the rune of Lagos. Mm-hmm. So this one means staying in flow. Uh, and for me, this rune is about, is a lot kind of very similar to Neptune, energy of Neptune, because mm-hmm. it, it represents um, water, intuition, imagination, healing, dreams, mysteries, um, insight and knowing so i love yeah. that so like spiritual leaders or healers they can have that room or 
Yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Nice. Um, yeah, that's cool. And the next one is, it might be yours. No, no not yet. <laughs> May no, not 14th yet. till May 29th. Um, yeah. It's the rune of Inguas. So mm -hmm. there's kind of a, several ways to draw it, but that's one of the ways. Okay. And this one symbolizes feeding new consciousness. So it's, it's more, it's fertility, but unlike Burkana, it's more about male fertility. Um, mm -hmm. Virility, inner growth, virtue, peace, and harmony. Nice. Um, yeah, and it's about um, feeding, your con feeding new consciousness. So it's kind of on an intellectual level as well. Um, yeah. Yeah, like Gemini's aren't like I'm just thinking, you know, that time of year we usually plant seeds as well, you know. Um, like I'm thinking about male male fertility fertility. Those are yeah. seeds. <laughs> yeah, 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 right? true. Definitely. Yeah. And it's about health as well. It's about good health. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so the next one is May twenty ninth until June fourteenth. And it's that's me. That's you? Okay, so the uh -huh. room is called Otala, or uh -huh. being, being in the present. Um, okay. It uh, represents legacy, inheritance, spiritual growth, abundance, mm -hmm. values, and tradition as well. Okay. So in some way, okay, you, think you, can, you can see this as a Saturn card, I suppose, in a way, in a way, because, yeah. It talks about, okay, cool. about ancestors and tradition, but it doesn't have to be. It's not just that. It's like a few things. But, but yeah. I do, do I, I do value some kind of, you know, not to, to a pot, but I, I like to take, you know, traditional values and put them in a form. I just don't want, I don't know. I like, I like tradition and values, but, you know, with maybe adopt them to, for a new world. That's how I would say it, you know, kind of. A, sure, that's yeah. Kind of, <laughs> yeah. Mm. But it is about, and I, I always wanted to know, you know, what my, you know, my, my family and heritage, and I always was interested, you know, family tree and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. Where, where do we come from? Yeah, yeah so I always. It's about. Yeah, definitely. That's true. That's true. Nice. nice. Cool. Yeah, cool. That it resonated. And we have a couple more, I think. Yeah, two more. So next one is June 14th until June 29th. And it's the rune of Dagas. Mm -hmm. um, and this represents uh, the. This is during the time of the summer solstice, and it cor correlates with the um, yeah midsummer, and it's about befriending the tension of change. So it's about, mm -hmm. about awakening consciousness, clarity, hope, uh, um, balance, and new cycles. It's kind of like a figure eight, so it represents like. Like a continuation of things. Oh, like yeah, I get it. Infinity, no yeah, beginning infinity, and no yeah. end. Mm -hmm. Nice. I'm gonna. That's that's my husband. I'm gonna tell him. Yeah. So he, he's <laughs> cool. the upper knowledge. Cool. I'm the tradition, and he's the bringing the new to the future. Cool. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, actually, that's it for the calendar. There's like a 25th rune. There's one last rune, which usually when you get the runes, it's just like an empty rune. Okay. But in this okay. in this card system, it they just symbolize it like this, and it's it was added on like later. Um, mm -hmm. So it's like a newer rune, and it's just uh, uh, it means weird. Uh, it means that weird things are gonna happen, or that. Uh, weird things okay, that's happen, cool. and it's about um, the fact that everything is interrelated in the universe and connected by a weave of intricate strands, like similar to this picture, you know. Um, oh, I like that. But it, it doesn't. It, there, there's no period in the calendar which symbolizes it. So some that's people use that. Yeah, yeah, because it's more new, and some people use it, some people don't. Oh, okay. But okay. I think it's interesting. So <laughs> Yeah. yeah, of course. Why not? Yes. Like, like we use the other planets, you know, like traditional astrologers that you know, they don't use them. I use them because so that that's also the same thing, you know, having something new to add to exactly. the mixture, right? Traditional versus <laughs> non-traditional. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
Um, I'm, 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 so I'm, I'm very curious. So, for example, somebody does a reading with you before rooms. They have a question. Does it work like horary, or how does it work? For example, when 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 you have a client that they have a question that you answer with rooms, or um, how does it work? No, I can do a rune reading separate to horary astrology. It can just be a rune reading. Um, the advantage of the runes is that um, you don't have to. Uh, well, I suppose with any kind of divination, but especially with the runes, you don't have to um, find out what, what's going to happen. You can be more proactive, as in, like you can say, "How? Mm -hmm. How do I make this happen?" You can ask that question. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, I like depending that. on what you want, depending on what you want to manifest, you can ask the question of. Yeah, how do I go about getting what I desire? And then, you know, the rune reading uh -huh. can give you the answers. Because um, the, the Vikings didn't believe that fate was... Um, they believed we had free will, that it wasn't predetermined. Okay. Yeah. So they <laughs> okay. used the runes not just for divination, but also for manifestation. And um, so, because in that way, the runes can be used to meditate on in order to bring, okay. bring about certain energy, to, um, depending on you know, what it is. You can uh, meditate, you can chant, you can, um, you can draw it on your body or different, you know, places, different things. And there's even like rune yoga and rune mudras as well. Uh, Oh really? That's I, that's a, a whole new world for me. Like you're blown. Yeah, yeah. Like, wow. uh, <laughs> I can show you even a book where they describe that if anyone's interested. But this is more yes. like the occult side. But basically, yeah, this book they describe hmm. like the more yeah runic um, yoga, runic dances, and all that kind of stuff. Um, which so what is, is it called? More like the occult. It's called. So what is it called? Um, the, it's called Rune Might, the Secret Practices of the German Rune Magicians. And who wrote it? Hmm? Uh, uh, Edred Thorson. I'll just keep mm -hmm. it here like this. Wait. Yeah. That sounds Scandinavian, so he's probably, his ancestors were probably Vikings, so he knows. <laughs> who? Yeah, the otter, I think. Yeah, I think his last name sounds Scandinavian, so I don't. He, but maybe his ancestors were Vikings. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <coughs> cool. Mm. Cool. So yeah, it's a very interesting topic, and yeah, when you work with runes, it is slightly different to the tarot cards because they can be very literal. They uh, because they represent forces of nature. Uh, uh, like mm -hmm. hail, ice, uh, light, uh, what else is it? Yeah, all those different th things, they kind of have a more literal quality to them. It can be very literal. Okay, so, okay, so it's not more, it's not more interpretive to, like, you, it, it's not uh, um, based on interpretation, but it's based, like, you, it gives you, like, a, like a, oh, this is the step you can do, like, so, for example, it, if, if you, for any question, if, if if the lightning comes up, so what does that mean? That means that some change is coming, or you have to make a change. What what would you say? Um, if that is the question, or I don't mean, know, for which, example, which, which uh, room would symbolize that? Is that what you're asking? Yes. So, for example, like okay, I just want like I, I want to understand. Um, like okay, if you can give me an example. Uh, yeah. You know, like somebody wants to know about the relationship or something. Will I marry this year or? How can I get married or whatever the question is? So if, if they get a lightning, for example, what would that mean? That it's uh, going to be unexpected or is it going to be... Like I'm trying to interpret like astrology, but I obviously can't. So I'm just wondering how, <laughs> how does it go? <laughs> um, well, no, like if you need to end the relationship, it would probably be like, uh, like the death rune, like... Um... Uh, which one is it? The I think it's I was. I think it's this one. Okay. So that's when something has to die or has to finish. So that would be that. And then if it needs to continue, like if it, if it has potential for growth, then you would have the Burkana rune, which is about which is the birch tree, for example. Okay. Or the, or so what do you do? So, 
okay, so what do you do? So do you like, do you, like, do you just uh, uh, put the cards out and so what, just like tarot? So what comes up, that's the, that's the answer? Is that the way yeah, it works? Yeah, yeah, it all depends on the question. Mm. So like, yeah. Um, okay. What was We have question a question. Again? Are there rules? So are there rules that indicate yes or no? Ah, well, yeah, like that's what I was trying to say is that there are some runes which are positive, you know, like the sun, the birch rune, the, um, what is it, the fehu, which is the cattle, uruz, like these ones which are more positive. So they symbolize that things will grow or that uh, abundance, they'll be abundant. And then there's other ones like ice, hagalas, like nautis, like the need, the one which represented the need. Um, or even the Thor rune, the one which was like a Thor. Like those ones are more negative, like negative. They will, they rep they will show you that there's challenge. So those ones you can like, interpret as a no, I would say. Uh yeah. Okay, if you ask a yes or no, Chris. Okay, so it says, uh, so do you use actual room stones or cards? See, people want to know. <laughs> It's you up to you. Room? It's up to you. I have both. I have both. I can show you the rune stones as well. Well, I'm sure people might think about it. But yeah, mm. you can have them on like crystals, for example, like this as well. Okay, cool. Tradition it's done it's carved on stones or on wood I have another one it can be on leather as well yeah um, you, you probably have like a, a billion tarot decks as well I know yeah I people do, who I do, do tarot they're yeah. like it can be like this as I well um, ideally it, it should be on organic materials but you uh, can use cards as well because um, yeah it's just convenient Connection with nature is important. Okay, so another question. Is it intuitive or and where did you learn it? No, I learned it same as the tarot. I learned from books, obviously, but also from personal experience. So, yeah. Oh, okay, bit, so is it, it, it is also... It's a bit of both, yeah. Mm -hmm. so you have, yeah, I, I always believe that you have to put, in any reading, you have to put intuition, even astrology reading or, I just say, you yeah, know, the tarot you know, or whatever. Yeah, intuition and intellect, yeah, definitely. But do you like to talk to a client? Uh, uh, so do you like talk to a client? Do you know? Do you need some kind of information? Does it help when you talk to a, a person and they tell you what their current situation is? Does that mean that they're going to get a better answer from the reading? Um, Or no? It can do. Uh, it can do. Yeah, but I think the you know the forces that are, that are at work they already know everything. So you know. Oh, I like this. It's only going you know to make I'm a minor be... difference. <laughs> I made my mind. I'm booking a reading with you. I want to know now how this works in practice. I don't know about <laughs> you guys, but I'm, I'm, I'm hooked. Thank um, you. <laughs> it, anyway, I really am. This is so amazing. I, I, it just blows my mind. Like so many different things. Like I'm, I'm always wondering how people lived in different parts of the world. Did it, there was no internet and no nothing. And they came up with the same you know, interpretation of the stars and the sun and, the, and like everything is connected with the nature and how the, the you know, yeah, I love that. I, 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 just, I just find it fascinating, you know, um, so many similarities between, now it's easy, you know, we, you click go on Google and you find, you know, oh, this is this, and but then you have Indian and, and Chinese and Mayans and, you know, Vikings and you have all these people that didn't know that they existed, you know. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a lot of connection. Um, yeah. Definitely. Okay. Connection. Another question. I know Katrina is that uh, she's always very curious, just like me. She goes, "How do you uh, how do you cast the runes? Do you shuffle them, or do you throw?" Yeah. Throw so if you stones? do it like in a bag like this, you would yeah you mm -hmm. would like kind of turn them like this, and then you will pick out one or a few out of the bag. Yeah. Okay. So and for same example, with the other bag this... well. Okay. So can you like for example, you know how some people. Um, Like, can you pull a rune for this live? What we, if you pull some kind of a rune today, would that have some significance for the, our relationship for this live? Like, if you choose one now, what would happen? What would be the meaning of that? If we, we chose one rune for this live? One. Yeah. Just you want to do it? Now. Okay. Yeah, what we can do it. Like, you you want to do it? Okay. So let's, let's do it. And then, then we're going to end with that because I think it's an amazing way to end it. And all of you, 
follow Anna and book the reading because I'm going to for sure book one. I, I'm so curious about this that I just want to explore more. <gasps> okay, so this is for this reading. That's a yeah. good one. Is it, a, is it Birch? No. Yeah, it's a good one. It's Algis. So this is spiritual protection. Ah, it's protection. I love it. See, yeah, that's yeah, a yeah. cool way to end this. We are protected. I love it. Look at me. I'm like a kid. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I want to, yeah, I want to thank you. I don't know if you want to share anything else. I know you can talk a lot about everything, but uh, this was just an introduction for people to understand what is it all about. And now they know where to find you. Mm -hmm. So uh, thank you very much. Thanks, everybody, for joining, thank for you. asking questions. Um, it's amazing. I'm, I'm so thrilled. I don't know what to say. Thank, <sighs> thank you. Thank you all. for having me. No problem. Talk to you soon. And all the best. And um, talk to you soon. Bye, guys. Thanks. Bye.